Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teacher's Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel Higher Tier Paper 2 from 2019. Um, this is question 12 and it's a question about areas and perimeters of sectors. So what we're given is that OAB is a sector of a circle and it's got center O and radius 7. So we're given that the area of this sector is 40 centimeters squared and we're being asked to find what the perimeter of the sector is and the perimeter is the distance all the way around so it includes this ab which is an arc plus these two straight and straight sides which are both radiuses um so what we need to know is first of all we're going to use this this area we need to know the formula for the area of a sector. So the area of a sector is given by theta, which is the angle here. So we call this angle theta. It's um, a letter we can use to represent an angle. And it's that over 360 times by the area of a circle, so pi r squared. So that's the general equation for the area of a sector, where theta is the angle between the two radiuses. And in our case, we actually have got the radius, so the radius is 7, and we're also told what the area is. So we can create an equation, and that will let us find out what this angle is. So we can say theta over 360 times by pi, and then the radius is 7, so times by 7 squared, is going to be equal to the area that we're given, which is 40 centimetres squared. <clears throat> so what we need to do, finding out what the angle is, so we need to rearrange this equation. So we can say that uh, 360 is dividing on this side, so if we divide, if we multiply both sides of, by the, of the equation by 360, it will cancel on the left hand side. So 360 I'm times in here and times in here, but it will end up on the right hand side. So that's going to disappear there. We end up with theta times by the pi and 7 squared, which is 49, is equal to the 40 times the 360. We can actually then divide that by both pi and 49. So divide both sides by pi times 49 and do it this side. And what's going to happen is the 49 will cancel on the left, as will the pi. And it will just leave me with 40 times 360 divided by pi times 49. So that's what the angle is. And if we just put that into the calculator and work that out, that's going to be 93.5441. And you'll have a load of figures on your calculator. And what you should do is make sure that you don't round up at this stage. So use the answer button on your calculator or type out all the figures on your, on your calculator. OK, so either one will do it. But don't round up because we're giving the final answer to three significant figures. If we round up too much, then we're going to introduce some inaccuracies into our final answer. OK, so we found what the angle is. And what we now need to do is look at what the um, arc length formula is. So arc length is the length of part of a circle. So we can see this distance A round to B is actually only part of a full circle and it's called an arc and so what we would do is we would uh, say well the formula for that is theta over again over 360 so the angle there over 360 times by 2 pi r and 2 pi r should be familiar because that is the circumference of a circle 2 pi times radius or you might be familiar with it as pi times diameter 
So what we can do is we can take the value of the angle that we found before and we can put that into our equation and it will give us what the arc length is. So if we do that, we get that the arc length then is equal to this 93.54413, etc. over 360. And that's all times by 2 times pi times by the radius. And the radius is, again, 7 centimetres. So times by 7. And we can work that out. And we get a number, which is 11.42857, and with all the, a lot more figures there. So again, don't round it up. You make sure you use the answer button for any previous, any further calculations. And what we're asked to do is work out what the perimeter is. So that means the distance all the way around the outside. So as well as this curved bit, which is the arc length. We've actually got to add on this straight length here and this straight length here. So since both of those are seven, we're actually adding on 14 onto this arc length to get the total perimeter. So the perimeter is equal to our 11.4285, etc. Plus seven plus another seven. And that comes to 25.428, etc. And if we round that up to three significant figures, that means we're going to cut it off here. Um, we're going to decide whether the four has got to be put up to a five or not. And the way we decide that is by looking at the next figure along, which is the two. And because the two is below five, we just keep the four here as a four. So to three significant figures, what we've got is 25.4. And it's going to be centimetres because we've been working in centimetres all the way through. So that's it. That's our final answer. So I hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And also visit our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk and it's appearing in the top left of the screen there. Thanks for watching.